Gundan Monastery is historically the most important and largest uh, religious center in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. Of course, it's it's uh, based on Gundan Monastery outside of uh, Lhasa, the main uh, headquarters for the Gelugpa tradition of of uh, Tibetan Buddhism. Now, what's interesting about Gundan Monastery in Ulaanbaatar is uh, we have to mention yes, they have a very large uh, uh, sculpture, metal sculpture, repousse of the eye clearing uh, Lokeshvara, which is a special deity for uh, for uh, Mongolian Buddhism. I don't know how far back it goes, but definitely for the last few hundred years. So, so there's a lot of buildings. A lot of buildings were destroyed, uh, but there's a a lot of uh, outlying buildings, uh, classrooms, um, smaller shrine rooms, uh, permanent kind of Kala Chakra, mandala arrangement, uh, done with carpet, which is very interesting, done with cloth, this, uh, and, and placed uh, within a, a sealed uh, plexiglass shrine. Very interesting uh, way to do things. Uh, now, really the most interesting thing about Gandan Monastery is their library. Uh, the library houses not just books, but it houses a set of 13 paintings depicting the 84 Mahasiddhas. Um, and these paintings are not original to Gandan Monastery. They were actually brought here maybe 20, uh, maybe 30 years ago. And they were from originally Zaya Pandita's monastery. And no, I cannot tell you which of the two Zaya Panditas it was. Um, and so these were actually hidden. They were actually um, hidden away in boxes since the 1920s. And uh, from, from the late or early, uh, early 90s, when uh, things became more open in Mongolia, then these were, uh, were placed in the Gandan Monastery for safety, and they were uh, put on display in the library. Okay, now, the most fascinating thing about these paintings is they are copies of the 13 painting set that was originally conceived of, designed, uh, and created by Kazilaso from uh, Chamdo, uh, part of eastern Tibet, the Chamdo region, uh, later to, uh, to be associated with a Triop Monastery um, south of Chamdo. So these, these 13 paintings are the only known set of, of the 84 Mahasiddhas that are done in this, in this compositional uh, format. Kazi Lasso also has uh, a format where there's two Mahasiddhas per composition, um, and he, ha he has several other formats for these. But these are clearly derived from Kazi Lasso. They're clearly copies. Uh, we have numerous um, uh, examples of partial sets, uh, other partial sets, but no complete set. So this is really, really uh, interesting because this helps us to fill in um, uh, holes uh, with the other painting sets, which are only partial. So we can now understand what the complete set would look like, even though these are only copies and derivative, and they don't have the very tight um, um, drawing uh, and line work that Kazi Lasso had, and also they're not as rich with the colors. Now, it's not clear where these were made, whether or not they were made in in uh, Mongolia from copying another set or whether they were made possibly in, in it, it's hard to say that they would be made in Tibet because the, the style is just too um, provincial. Uh, it's possible they were made on the um, some border, borderland regions of Amdo, that's possible, and then, and then moved to, uh, to Ulaanbaatar. Anyway, the, so this is the most interesting thing about uh, really uh, for art is uh, of Gandan Monastery is this set of a uh, complete set of 13 paintings of the 84 Mahasiddhas that are copies of from a known artist and his works of the of the uh, early 19th century. So we're looking uh, probably at his height. It was about 1815 when Kazi Lasso was at, at his uh, height in, in terms of um, uh, quality of work and, uh, and production and output. 
So press the like button, you can subscribe, and you can also join Har on Patreon and help support the work we do.